Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is Lithic Metals. Welcome to the lab. What I have here is a one ounce gold bar. It's actually uh, just over one ounce. It was sent in to me to uh, be re-poured into uh, a lithic bar. And as soon as I started to examine it, you see those scratches there. And uh, there's like some little like brown tarnish right there in the, in the front. It's kind of hard to see there, but as soon as I took a look at it, I thought, nah, I'm afraid this bar is going to need to be refined. And uh, the one way I know for sure is to melt it down to see if oxides form uh, once oxygen um, hits the molten metal. And uh, yeah, I could see it instantly. You could see that film casting over the top. Now, sometimes once you have the, the metal fully melted, um, that slag, that, those oxides that form, get pulled off into the, into the uh, borax there in the dish. But you can see this is just instantly, it flashes over. Um, you know, those scratches that were in top of the bar, or at the bottom of the bar, um, I think that was made to get it to be a specific weight. Yeah, you know, and that's I, I just can't re-pour that because if I did, those oxides are going to form at the surface, surface of the bar and uh, it's going to look terrible. Um, so, yeah, those, those scratches, I, I think maybe um, some silver might have got scratched into it. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it was, it's contaminated. So I decided I'm going to melt it into shot and uh, we're going to get it into the booth here and... Uh, we're gonna chemically refine this material. So I put the gold in the beaker, shook it around, I don't know why, but uh, <laughs> just take a look at it. Um, kind of disperse it evenly a, a little bit, but uh, here I'm adding hydrochloric acid. <clears throat> and in just a second, I'm gonna add, here we are, uh, concentrated nitric acid. And that's gonna essentially make aqua regia. And uh, that's what's gonna put this gold into solution so pop that on add some heat immediately this is time lapse but immediately we see this this reaction going and uh boom you see that gold going into solution now this gold is still super super clean it's still 99 point something percent pure gold but it just has just enough silver copper whatever it was that contaminated it just enough um, that it's not suitable for a lithic bar. Um, uh, but here we go. So I'm putting this uh, into solution. I kept adding nitric acid until all the gold went into solution. And uh, here we are. I just uh, added a bit of distilled water. I wanted to see if I could shock out any of the silver. And uh, I didn't see any cloudiness. It stayed, it's, this is still really clean gold. You know, it's kind of a shame to have to go through the process of refining it. But if we want a beautiful surface to that bar, this is what we have to do. So uh, here we are. I'm filtering the material just in case I need to collect any little particulates in there. I did add some uh, sulfuric acid. Um, so if any lead was in there, it would have dropped out. And I'm collecting it in that filter. I don't think there's any lead in there. Uh, but here we are. So here we have some pretty clean stuff here, and it's looking good, but um, what we really have to do is uh, drop it out of solution, drop the gold out of solution. That will leave the remaining silver or copper uh, traces back in the solution. So here I added some ice. I want to keep it cool. This is an exothermic reaction, so uh, yeah, the cooler I keep the solution, the less floaty particle bits uh, form at the surface. It just it, it combines easier. All right, I'm going to take a little test sample of our solution, and I want to just verify. Here we are, verify that uh, we have gold in solution. And uh, I used stannous chloride for that test. And here I'm using um, sodium metabisulfite (SMB) to drop the gold out of solution. There we go. I sprinkle that in dry. And there we go. You see the yellow still at the ring at the edges of the solution here. Uh, I'm going to give it a little stir and we'll see that yellow disappear. And there we go. Just to be sure, sometimes I'm going to add just a bit more uh, SMB. Um, yeah. 
pretty much standard. And you see a little bit that ice melted right away. That solution got pretty hot. And you see a little bits are floating. So I just sprayed the surface to break the surface tension. Uh, sprayed it with distilled water. Try to drop that material down. Um, let's test our solution again. A little more stannous chloride. Clear. All right, no reaction. Good. So we dropped our gold out of solution. And now I got to let that settle. So it, it, it was taking a little bit. So I wanted to I speed it up just a bit. So I turned the heat on. And that boils everything apart and settles that gold out pretty quickly. Um, there we go. Nice light rolling boil. And uh, after that's finished, I let it cool, let everything settle, and uh, we'll decant this. All right, we'll pour off our solution here. As I do, the surface kind of picks up some of those particles, and uh, so I have to use a spray bottle here and just kind of break that surface tension again. It drops the particles down. Eh, you just go nice and slow. You see them starting to pick up, and you spray it down again. And there we go. Now, obviously, 99 point something percent of that solution's gone, but there's still a bit clinging to those particles, so I have to wash this material really well. So here's some distilled water. Uh, I'm just going to start the rinse procedure here. And, uh, all right, I, I brought it to a light boil, let it cool. I'm pouring that off. And uh, after this, we're going to add uh, a bit of hydrochloric acid. And it's already looking better. So I grabbed the HCl. We'll add some of that right now. See, there's a bit of steam coming off there. That's not steam. It's some sort of reaction there with the hydrochloric acid. So... Spray the sides down with some water and we'll heat that up again. I got some of those floaty bits to, to rise, but yeah, as I sprayed it down, let it cool, it settles up nicely. You see it's starting to ball up. Um, there's a little electrical charge that uh, makes those particles kind of bind together. So, all right, we'll pour off our hydrochloric acid. And now this whole rinse procedure, that is to make sure this gold is clean as possible. You know, if I melted that right now, we still could have some contamination, and it wouldn't be in the in the particles. It would be in the solution, uh, clinging to the particles. So here we go. This is some more distilled water. Obviously, I heated it up, cooled it down, pouring it off again. After this, now I'm going to add uh, uh, some ammonia, and that ammonia really gets this gold squeaky clean. You know, it's a it's a great cleaner. I gotta be real careful here not to carry off any particles. All right, here comes the ammonia rinse. We'll see some bubbles form in there, yeah. All right, stir that around just a bit. Kind of a little scrubbing action. I rinse down the sides, heat it up, gets pretty bubbly. And uh, after that's done, I let it cool, spray it down, go through the ritual again, uh, pour up. Pour off the remaining solution, uh, spray off the sides, and here I'm going to do another uh, rinse with, uh, look at that, beautiful, huh? Really lightened up in color, looks great. Those electrical bonds, that's uh, nice and pure bonds, make, balling it up into uh, uh, little balls. <laughs> I don't know, i, I got to write a script. All right, so here I'm going to, here I just added... Uh, a bit more distilled water you see some more bubbles formed in there so there's still traces of that ammonia um, so we'll uh, pour that off and uh, pretty much certain we're going to do one more rinse here yeah we want to make sure we want to get that solution clean here so and right now it feels real good it's just like you know i'm basically working with windex you know it's ammonia and water and and that's what's in this beaker that I'm pouring off there all right and now we have some pretty clean gold so I turn it up the heat after a little bit here we go we have our dried precipitated gold hard to look at that and think oh yeah there's gold uh, when I look at that I see oh yeah that, that's gold but <laughs> I sure wouldn't have a decade ago <laughs> all right let's pour this into a melt dish and uh look at that gorgeous beautiful bright color get that all in there all right 
we'll melt this down. We'll check the purity again here and see if we get any of those oxides to flash. All right, get these torches going here. It's just about an ounce of material, so I can get away with using these map gas torches. All right, we're melting it down here. Now that last melt dish that I used since it was contaminated, look at that, crystal clear. I can't use that previous melt dish. Now that melt dish is uh, gonna be used for like carrot scrap, stuff like that. I couldn't use it for pure gold again. See, now the oxygen's just hitting that stuff and it's staying as smooth as can be. No oxides forming. And so this is what I need when I go, look at that, gorgeous. That's what I need when I go to pour my bars because uh, otherwise I won't have that surface that I'm looking for. Uh, but since this is a little bit more than an ounce, I'm going to uh, turn this into shot first so I can get an accurate measurement of the material that I'm going to need to pour a uh, one, ounce, one ounce bar. Let's pour this in some ice water here. Ah, uh, yeah. I was trying to keep the torch out of the way for the camera, and I let it get a little cold there. So it clings to the dish. So now i got to work extra hard with the torch in the camera. And i got that one little ball there, but don't worry about it. I'm able to just click those off of the tweezers and... There, they go right in. All right, so pour that off into another dish. And now I'm just gonna pour the water off. Somebody commented, but well, why do you keep using all these dishes? <laughs> Sorry, it's just how I do it. It's just easier to catch everything and to make sure and step by step. Now I'm gonna pour one more time into another dish. This is a real Pyrex dish, well, all caps. Um, and uh, I basically pour off the, the water and I just hit it with the torch a few times right in that Pyrex dish, heat it up red hot, melts all the water, evaporates all the water off, and now I can get an accurate weight. Now I started, this was 1.11 ounces. So we lost, what, 0 0.02 ounces uh, for the refining. So we, we didn't take much out, but it was just enough to uh, cause those oxides to form. So here we are, we have our gold. I measured out one ounce exactly. And uh, we're going to pour a nice, beautiful bar here. All right. As this melts down, we'll take another look at the gold itself. I guess I didn't take much time. I'm right to business here. Get a little pour. And, ah, uh, yeah. Now, I can tell I, I the pour wasn't smooth. It kind of clung to the dish a little bit. And uh, right away, I was like, nope. That bar is not going to pass mustard there. So back into the melt dish. And uh, we'll take another stab at it here. Look at that gold. Nice and clean. Beautiful. Let the air get to it. And uh, obviously we're not seeing any oxides forming. And here we go. Let's get a decent pour. Nice round top, great cooling lines there. Perfect, that was perfect. All right, nice. Pop that out of there and cool it down. Red hot. Perfect, all right, time to get this beauty stamped up. Take another look at it, just make sure I, I uh, orientate the bar in the direction that best suits the stamps uh, with the pour lines and go through it. I got I, I begin with the main lithic stamp. Uh, above it I strike the gold mark. Here I'm uh, striking the one ounce mark on the front edge and on the back edge I strike the number. And this was number uh, 23 in this series. There we go. Take one last look at it here. Well, it's on the bench. Make sure I like it. Yes. Yeah. Has a, a nice dome to it. All right, we'll get this certificate of authenticity signed and dated. Number 23 on the books. She's a beaut. nice chunky piece of gold number 
2023. Not too shabby. I hope it goes well in the owner's collection. All right. I'm going to get this packed up, shipped out. I hope you like it. I'm Jeff. I'll see you next time.